Hello everybody, this is Art Ninja Gaming, and we are about to do uh, some speedrun on rats here. So we have a couple people who joined, one who just left suddenly. So uh, we're going to just jump right into this. Well, squeeze as you can with all these people. This is the easiest uh, way to get experience in the game, like the easiest uh, mission to do. Or heist, I suppose you could technically call it. It's not really a heist, though. Uh, so for assets, we have basic things. We also have uh, floodlights, which I'll just buy, because why not? Basically exposes where the cops are a bit better, which is always useful. There's the Bane's plan. We get to go in and we get to cook meth, or at least that is the plan here. So combined locomotive, you just... Basically what you do is you just run in, you grab as many ingredients as you can, and then you just blow it up and get out, because that's the easiest way to get day one done. I'm just gonna make sure it's okay with Slim Shady Joe. Yeah, Slim Shady Joe disagrees. Beautiful. As you can see, the original plan was to get the cooks to do it for us, but apparently cooks are dead. Or it hasn't said it yet, but the cooks are dead. This is what it's trying to get across here. There's no way to do this stealth, or if there is, I've never he heard or seen anybody do it. I, I don't think it's possible. You could do the second day kind of stealth-ish. Well, you could at least do it without fighting people for a short amount of time if you do it quick enough. But Yeah, so you just run around grabbing ingredients. This is usually the easiest place to grab the ingredients, just go into the basement. I guess, uh, yeah, that's what I usually do. I just go around, grab everything here. Oh, we got another guy joining. We You have to wait for um, Bane here to tell you what you need to cook, or the ingredients you need to put in, because as you can see, you've gained three ingredients, and there's three possibilities to put in there. Let's just uh, run up here quickly. As you can see, we have a, a lovely little meth lab here. They're wearing their cute little uh, yellow jumpsuits here. Don't they look fabulous? Look, they sparkle. They sparkle in the night. Yeah, so um, there's hydrogen chloride, muriatic acid, hydrogen chloride, and, um, here they come, guys. ah, I forget the last one, so six soda or something like that. Blow in. I mean, of course, when you have the option, you always try and blow things. It's the only way to get around. <laughs> so yeah, you have to pick the exact opposite of what he says. At a point, he'll tell you what you need to put in to start cooking. You it's supposed to go about three batches. You can trade in a later mission for intel so you don't have to fight, but it's very easy to just bust in and fight anyways. It's not worth spending the time here and risking yourself dying doing this. Because it takes a while to cook. Like, after you get told the ingredients, he goes one ingredient at a time and you always have to wait on him. It just takes too long. Even for the first uh, ingredients, probably it's between like two and three minutes usually pops up and tells you what you want to cook. So it, takes a bit of time normally, and then when you do, if you try and cook three whole bags, that's about three ingredients per bag, it it adds up and it ends up taking a while, and the whole point of rats really is speedrunning for experience. Uh, you can do rats to get a fair amount of money, oh, he wants hydrogen chloride, so you put in something different, caustic soda there, as you can see it catches on fire, oh that guy better get out of there, oh yeah, he's good, oh taser, Ah, oh, I hate, hate stuns. Alright, we're good. Everybody's alive. Fire, fire, fire. There we go. Uh, even with high armor, it's a bit dangerous. I still have no ammo. Oh, I'm gonna go down, I think. Yep. Oh, I still have no ammo. <laughs> I misjudged the time to reload so much. So I keep trying to move and sprint, but I can't do that at the same time right now. For some reason they're coming to save me, usually the easier thing to do is just get to the van to get out because, again, it's all about speed, you can still escape with only three people. So, you know, they're nice people, you better thank them. You can usually do this with, um, most people who do it are high levels, as you can see, we got 90, 80, 70, and I'm high 80 right now as well. But, uh, you can do it, some low le slower levels can do it, probably like 40-ish around there, some of the lower levels that do it. If you're with, like, a group of three higher level friends and they support you, you can probably do this and just get yourself a whole bunch of experience. 
with it'll be probably hard for you you might die a lot I wouldn't be surprised if they just left you behind and you always need to escape here no matter what there's no way to get uh, expert driver or anything that negates having to escape it's just how the mission works mostly well probably because speed run there's a couple different possibilities for this one you can I there well you can't choose of course it's random what the escape is I usually put on lower level armor just in case it's the one where you can run fast one of them is a garage escape so you just have to run out oh no we have overpass escape here which means we're gonna have to hold out so I'm gonna put on some bigger armor and yeah just get ready to go here oh we got a new guy going eh? joining laser edge I think he's a new guy yeah lovely connection we got here yeah though every um, overkill is risk level 3 very hard is risk level 2 and hard is risk level 1 normal is just risk level <laughs> I don't know just normal we got bulldozers here also called spacemen for no apparent reason they have the easiest way to kill them is shooting in their face they have that and under that they have a yellow visor and under that you can shoot their soft little flesh and so you fire through there, it's the easiest way to get them down. Use a shotgun, you can easily blast through. Moscone, I've had them... I, Moscone, I think it was, I used. My favorite gun, my sniper rifle, essentially. <laughs> just because you can shoot halfway across the map with it, it seems. What I did there, I just uh, ran up to the bulldozer, aimed in his face, fired off both the shots, cracked through both of the visors, which was pretty lucky. I don't know if anybody else did any damage to him before that, I don't think so, but... Point is, Moscone, you don't need any other gun. <laughs> it's assault rifle, shotgun, and of course, sniper rifle. At least it's assault uh, rifle if you have the ammo bag. Let's see, I don't. Nobody has C4. No. I know the best place to hide is up here. There's a couple different places you can start when you're escaping, but you can always make it to this one if you're on this level because this is the best place to hide out because you can just run up there you can easily see down and look around in the area where's everybody else those guys are just defending out for some reason but yeah you have a nice overview of the area you can just shoot everybody that comes near oh it's terrible aim. and as you can see there's no stairs over there they have to come from this area here only one entrance really defensible place chains over there lovely NPC Ugh. there we go I can make it Say bulldozer? Oh, we're good. I know, I always, every time I do this, I always try and Anyone leap into that room for no apparent reason. Just because it's a lovely place to be. <laughs> the interesting thing about it is, though, there's no door. Because that, from what I've seen, is actually not a door. Right over here. Yeah, it's not a door there. Just looks like a bit of discoloration or something because I don't see a handle on it, but there's no <laughs> there's no entrance into this. Uh, you know, it's, it's a room for superheroes. See, in Payday, you know, there are, of course, superheroes who roam around in the game. Occasionally, they come and help on heists, of course. So, you know, this is one of their rooms. Uh, you know, just phase shift through it. It's, uh, it's good for privacy. You know? Perfect way to stay alone. Do, 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 do. You know, occasionally he'll come help you in the heist. He's a very lovely man. And if you couldn't tell, there's no Superman. It's, I'm sorry to crush your dreams. I, I know it's hard for you, but there's no Superman. It's just not how the world works. Wait, who the hell phase shifts through walls? Silver Surfer? I mean, maybe Silver Surfer is the only one. The point is, he's not real. Uh -oh. They're pretty generous with the hit. You can usually miss them by a fair bit and they'll still hit them. They're very generous with the hit counters there. Oh, here we go. There's a couple different places where the helicopter can come. Well, there's two different places for the helicopter and two different places if a van comes. It's random. I think it'll be cool if they added a way to, like, buy the helicopter and then it would always come there or something like that instead of having it random between both the places and the and the van because the van's usually out of the way helicopter can make it right up to the nice defensible place which i suppose is why a lot of people like to go there 
Yeah, you always have to escape day one. Day two, it's a chance, but again, can't get any assets. I usually like to go for light armor here, just so you can run and do everything you want. C4 trip mines, because at higher levels, once you get trip mines, you can upgrade it into C4. So you can just blow up in safes, because we're trying to farm for intel here for a later mission. If you had cooked the meth in the last mission, what you could do is, let's see, that uh, van up there, you could throw three bags of it in there to trade to these guys, and they would give you the intel, because they're nice. And, you know, you gave them the coke, which is always lovely. Oh, one bad thing about having uh, low armor on, you just get torn down. Armor is very important. Where am I going? Here. Uh, da, da, da. No safe, no entrance. Nope. Let's see, you're looking for safes here. Oh. <laughs> People usually take a fair bit of uh, <laughs> beatdowns. Would have thought in the movies, fucking one hit, poof, knocked unconscious, eight hours. This game, not even have any armor, you have to hit him a whole bunch. Especially lovely chains. Ooh, intel. Beautiful. Got pretty lucky there for a safe I opened. If you don't get it in time, the uh, Mendozas, the little gangsters here, they can burn it. So you won't be able to use it. Uh, what it does is, in the next mission, the whole point of this is to kill rats. Rats being um, people who have betrayed these drug dealer lords here. Uh, switch to my actual gun. Oh, knocked out. Yeah, the whole point of it is to um, kill the rats on the next mission. They're aboard a bus, they're escaping. And the codes are to uh, deactivate some C4 on the bus. Uh, you can get away without it fairly easily. The point of having the codes is basically just you get more money, or you have the option to get more money. Which uh, will be shown once we're there. Oh, perfect time to join. Right as we're about to escape here. Well, I guess I can tell you about the next level then. So they're on the bus in the middle of a freeway. They've, um, they're have rats, so they have the support of the FBI. They also, for some reason, are armed, because the FBI thought they were very friendly and lovable people. You know? I mean, who wouldn't? I mean, they're, they're lovable little gangsters, you know? I mean, they're just so cute and fluffy. So yeah, they, they trust them to have guns, and also aboard the bus is about 10, I want to say 10 or more, Briefcases all full of duffel bags of money, or well, you fill it with the duffel bags of money. And under some of them is uh, C4 you have to deactivate. If you don't deactivate the C4, poof, bus blows up. Any money inside will get evaporated. Evaporated? That's that's not the right word at all. They'll, the money will be gone. There we go, we're escaping now. So yeah, or you can also get away without it though, because it has a fair delay. If you're organized enough, all four of you could get on the bus, murder the people, open the same hello everybody uh, you might notice this is a different group that's because in the last group we got a bit greedy and ended up all getting mowed down on the overpass which is something you have to watch out for apparently this group wants to get greedy as well and go for every single bag of money so we're gonna see how that goes yeah he wants to go for all the bags which might get us a whole lot of money, about 1.2 million spendable, I think, and then a fair bit of offshore account. Yeah, I think it's 1.2 or more in spendable. You get you can get a pretty hefty amount because there's about 10 briefcases, I think. I want to say there's 10, maybe more, probably more, maybe 12. Point is, if you're gonna get greedy, at least have a plan. <laughs> Otherwise, you're gonna get destroyed, I would think. Oh no, I've been recently. I've been shying away from my favorite uh, Moscone gun for this little pass. Oh, everybody down! <laughs> As you can see, <laughs> tattoos, uh, cigarettes. Damn, so many of these. Look at them, almost every single one of these people has a cigarette, and luckily they have suction lips too. I mean, that's one of the features of the brand new Mendoza model, actually. They come included with a built-in cigarette holder. It's suction too. Also, same with the glasses. Ah! Point is, new Mendoza's totally worth it. Look at this. 
can even hold the gun by the tip. That's how advanced this is. You don't even have to hold the trigger. He has telepathy with his uh, with his weapon, you see? Ooh. Oh, damn it. Lots of bags of money. Do -do 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 -do. Ah. And of course, if you don't uh, diffuse the C4 under the bags of money, you can see there's money right there. If you don't diffuse the C4 under it, then uh, you're in for a bad time. Ah. Yeah. You're in for a bad time because the bus is going to blow up and burn all the money. I think somebody's turret ran out. <laughs> and now each of these bags is, I want to say, just under 300,000, I think. So you get a fair bit of money from this. Oh. Uh, Omega's almost down too, it looks like. Might have to go help him. Oh, he's good. Did we... I don't think we got everything yet. So at least a couple bags in there. Oh no, we got all of it. Now the hard part, staying alive after all this, it's a bit ridiculous. Uh, especially with all the flashbangs and things that go off. <laughs> Lucky time to be an enforcer, all the extra armor, the extra health for every tier bonus as well. Normally I would run around and try and kite that shield to kill him, but yeah, fair bit of people. <laughs> That's the one good time it is to have the uh, gauge weapon. There you go, two hundred and thirty thousand for each of these bags. Oh no, you don't. Get the hell away from my money. If I'm almost gonna die, for, I'm gonna get it all. <laughs> I know. I think with this group, we're doing pretty good. Pretty sure somebody bought the ace pilot, which allows you to get here, or allows it to get here a bit earlier. No, you can easily miss though. Like you can easily miss throwing the money into this, in this overstuffed chopper. Who's getting tased? Omega. You can easily miss. You can even overshoot it and no land right there. It's happened a couple times to me. It's pretty annoying. You can't. You just lose the money. There we go, we got all the bags. Oh, sliver of health left. I've been graced by one of the superheroes. Of course, frequent in this game. You can, of course, uh, take about four bags with you this way. You can put it on your back and escape through the with the escape chopper. But you can't bring any more. You can't like throw it in a pile. You can only carry what's on your back away. Usually it's easier to just throw it in the chopper unless you're speed running, where, in, where you just get the four bags and you get the hell out of there. But let's see, we got 2.8 in offshore and... oh, not too much this time. Usually you can get a fair bit more, but as you can see we got uh, 700,000 in spending, which is pretty good. And now the main, the main fun of this, the experience leveled up. You get just under 300,000 for every single one, you, every single one of rats you do it. And you can do it in the fairly quick time. And let's see, size doesn't matter. Or, uh, or does it? Anyways, uh, thanks for watching guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. It uh, helps a lot. Thanks. If you guys want to see anything else that's interests you, uh, just ask.